hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we'll continue our discussion related to digital electronics and like I said uh, in the future we'll be discussing uh, videos related to logic circuits so we'll be starting with the combinational logic circuits so before that first the digital logic circuits which are there they can be broadly classified into two categories okay first one is the combinational logic circuit and the second one is the sequential logic circuit now each category it's uh, very diverse very broad in itself so we'll be discussing them in parts separately we'll be discussing some of the you know concepts related to combinational logic circuit then sequential then combination like that so uh, these series of videos it will be related to various combinational logic circuits so what is a combinational logic circuit and what is a sequential logic circuit the basic definition is that in a combinational logic circuit the output it depends only on the present input you know the instantaneous input the input which is applied at that particular instant okay that particular time instant whereas in sequential logic circuit the output depends on the present input yes on the present input and also on the past state of inputs okay and here the introduction of the memory elements they play a role in storing the past inputs so they also play a role in determining the state of the output so the basic definition between combinational and sequential is combinational logic circuits the outputs it depends only on the present state of inputs with no you know the past inputs playing no role in itself in determining the output whereas in sequential logic circuits because of the presence of primary uh, uh, the memory elements uh, the output it depends on the past state of okay so the different types of uh, combinational logic circuit which will be and also in both the things you can you can say that a sequential logic circuit is basically a combinational logic circuit along with a memory element so if we add a memory element to a combinational logic circuit we will have a sequential logic circuit okay and uh, logic gates they are the basic building block of uh, the combinational logic circuits in sequential the logic gates along with the memory elements such as flip flops latches so, so we'll be discussing that shift registers so we'll be discussing that when we'll discuss sequential logic circuits now the different types of uh, common combinational circuits which uh, you know which we'll discuss which we'll cover they are the arithmetic circuits which are the ha uh, the half and uh, full adder and subtractor encoder and decoder multiplexer and demultiplexer comparator uh, then uh, parity generator checker and code converters so these are the various circuits we'll be discussing them one by one in separate videos in detail so there i'll be discussing all that now the basic building block the block diagram of a combinational logic circuit is something like this so we have on one side the inputs now depending upon the requirement there can be as many inputs uh, as it requires that particular circuit and it has as many number of outputs which is as per the requirement of the circuit okay so here in general i have represented it with the help of a block a combinational logic circuit which consists the internal circuitry it consists of the various logic gates and or uh, not universal gates nand nor 
then XOR, XNOR. So in different combinations it will be there and we will have N inputs and M outputs. So the basic uh, you know step by step process of implementing a combinational logic circuit is something like this. So first we have to identify what problem we have to solve. Let's say we have to perform uh, addition, subtraction, division, multiplication or I am talking about arithmetic circuits or we have to compare the magnitude of two numbers whether one number is greater or lesser than the other or whether they are equal. So first we have to identify what is the main question, the main problem which the circuit is trying to solve or which we are designing uh, the circuit to solve. Then we have to identify the input and output variables. How many input variables? How many output variables? Because depending on that the number of logic gates have to be arranged, have to be placed in the proper manner. Then we have to express a relationship between the input and output variables. Whether the input and output variables are in the form of an AND relationship, OR relationship, NOT relationship, SUM of products, product of sums or uh, XOR, XNOR, whatever kind of relationship exists between input and output variables, whether there is a single or multiple you know, relationships existing between the input and output variables we have to assign that okay we have to write the equation then the next step is to draw a truth table and in some cases Carnot map to meet the input and output requirements and Carnot map is basically used for uh, simplification minimization of the boolean expressions okay and then we have to implement the simplified minimized boolean expression this is the basic step of implementation of a combinational logic circuit okay